Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so, so that we can bring you the latest news as it happens. And we can also work together with our great leader, Mazin and the Colonel, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and at the same time expose the terrorist activities of the Nigerian government to the whole world. You know, Senator Ali Ndume, the Senate Chairman on Army, who represents Borno Stout at the Nigerian Senate, said during an interview recently with a compromised Nigerian TV station the majority of the ammunition used by the terrorist Fulani headsmen and the bandits and Boko Haram and Icewave against Nigerians and Biafrans were stolen from Nigerian military and other security agencies in Nigeria. What this high-ranking Fulani senator is saying is that the Nigerian government through its security agencies, are supplying these blood-sucking terrorists with ammunition and military uniforms to maim, kill, and kidnap innocent citizens. While they are pretending to fight these terrorists and deceiving the whole world with the lies that Boko Haram terrorists are technically defeated, I would not be surprised that the word technically was coined or manufactured by the sophisticated Southwest media or the Biafran intellectuals who are keeping these Fulanis in power. That was what the American government found during their high level investigations and they quickly ordered the British government to withdraw their troops in Nigeria. The Fulani Nigerian government, having failed to deceive and secure the help of American and British soldiers, decided to go to China for help. You know, gladly, China accepted it after the Fulani promised to give them free access to Biafran oil and gas. But the Nigerian government are skeptical about their Chinese help or the help they're going to get from Chinese. Because what the Chinese are most interested in is more than just oil and gas. They also want the land as theirs. And that is what the Fulani Nigerian government and the Fulani Caliphate doesn't want because they also want the land. Now, the Fulani Nigerian government have now secured help from, the, from a Libyan terrorist group and they have sent over 10,000 terrorists to Nigeria and they will be dressed in Nigerian military and now they are on their way to Biafran land and currently they are in emo states to do show of strength. They want to help the Nigerian government fight Eastern Security Network and IPOB. Imagine sending terrorists from Libya, dress them in Nigerian military uniform and parading them on emo, in emo state in all the streets in emo in the name of show of strength. You can see how stupid and how wicked Nigerian Fulani government is. They have failed because the Janjaweed Fulani government of Nigeria, their terrorist military, including their fighter jets, are no match to the gallant men and women of Eastern Security Network. Eastern Security Network have been able to defeat Nigerian army and they are terrorists because they are disciplined and intelligent. Nigerian military will always be defeated. My brothers and my sisters, currently the Edo brothers, that is our Edo brothers, Edo state brothers, have now been officially part of um, Biafra. And ES10 has been established in Edo state. You know they are our brothers. They are from they are our brothers. We know them as Igodomi Igodo. 
just as we have Igbos, we have Ishekiris, Urobos, we have Epic, we have Ibibios, we have Ijos in Biafra land. We thank God that God will make our dream of independent Biafra to come to pass. In order to receive the terrorists from Libya, dressed in Nigerian military uniform, and legitimize them, the Fulani slave governor of Imo State, Serekin Fulani Hope Uzodema, was taken from his hideout in Abuja and dragged to Owere like a goat with a rope on his neck. Then they supported him with over 1,000 heavily armed security operatives. The disgraced Imo governor gave a mayday speech to an empty crowd. What a disgrace. This is what you get when you sell your conscience, you know, to the devil. After the mayday address, he was taken back into a bunker at Obinze Barracks. Is this the way he wants to enjoy his life? Well, that is what he has signed for, to be a, Sul a Fulani slave forever. Also, the Efuleful -Efu governor of Ebony State, Dave Umehi, who is a part to this deployment of terrorists from Libya to Imo State to do a show of strength. Dave Umehi have declared to negotiate with terrorist Fulani bandits. You know, he's doing that because he wants to now use the Fulani bandits as the people running the Ebubago in Ebony. Because his slave masters, the Fulani Meyetiala, have directed him to do so after his cover was blown open. He was exposed when uh, the public found out that they were using Nigerian police personnel, you know, selected from all over the country and parading them as Ebubago operatives. So now he's using the Fulani bandits to do that job. You know, and he's negotiating with Fulani bandits that have killed Biafrans in Ebony because they complained about their farm being destroyed by the Janjaweed Fulanis. Dave Umehi made this statement after the Southeast Biafran elders pledged their support and allegiance to Mazen and the Kano IPOB and Eastern Security Network. And these governors warned Biafran youth not to join Ebubago because now they plan to dress the Fulani bandits as Ebubago. You know? That means from beginning, they never had good plans for Biafrans. They never had good plans. The Fulani controlled Nigerian DSS are quick to have intelligence on IPOB, but not on terrorists, Boko Haram, ISWIP, or Fulani bandits and headsmen. This is because Nigerian government is not interested in the security and well being of Nigerians and Biafrans. So, how can you explain it? In Nupe People's Land, that they call Niger State, the Nigerian government withdrew military and allowed the bandits, the Fulani bandits and Boko Haram to terrorize the people. They terrorize the people. Is that not wickedness of the highest level? But the Nigerian government are interested only in overrunning Biafran land, overrunning Yoruba land, overrunning Middlebet land for their Fulani terrorists to settle. Some Boko Haram terrorists, they thought that Chad is like Nigeria, where they are being pampered 
and supported by the Nigerian government. But they met their Waterloo, they met their death. When they crossed into Chad to terrorize Chadians, and the no nonsense Chadian troop killed 22 of the terrorists, Fulani Janjaweed, and the remainder ran back into Nigeria, where they operate like kings. They operate like kings. These are the same terrorists, the Fulani Nigerian government calls repentant Boko Haram, repentant bandits, whom they now recruit into the Nigerian military and send them to Biafran land to massacre innocent Biafrans. But after the emergence of Eastern Security Network, the story changed. It changed because the terrorist Nigerian military is no match to Eastern Security Network. After our leader, Mazenam de Kano, broke us yesterday, our Yoruba brothers in Okitipupa arrested over 45 Fulani terrorists who came into Okitipupa in a truck, disguising as if they were carrying cattle. And they were, so they were to be harbored or kept in Okitipupa army barracks from where they will operate and massacre Yoruba indigenous. As our leader Mazinangu Kano have said, the terrorist Fulanese can only attack where there is police station or army barracks because the police and the armies have been given order from the Nigerian government to provide cover and support for the Fulani terrorists. The Yoruba youth of this generation wants an independent Odudua nation and they won't follow the rogue leaders trying to destroy their future like they did in Kwara during Afoja's era. The Yorubas have urban civilization for more than 1,000 years unlike the Fulanis who do not have civilization. But the Sultan of Sokoto came to Lagos last, this week. You know, he came to lie and deceive the Yorubas, saying Yorubas and Fulanese are one, just as they did to the Hausa, and now they rendered them useless and took over their land. The Fulanese will trick you by befriending you first, and they will allow you to be off your guard. And then they will come in, in the still of night, kill you and the entire family, and then take over your ancestral land. That's how they operate. The Fulanese are cowards, and they can't face a determined group like Eastern Security Network or Chief Sunday Boho's group. They can't. That was why they were easily defeated in Central African Republic. The Fulani Caliphate is finished. They have lost the Yorubas because the current Yoruba generation have seen the light from our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, and they are saying no to their corrupt leaders and their Fulani slave masters. The Yoruba Nation Freedom Fighters had their peaceful protest in Abeokuta today to demand for freedom even though the Fulani Nigerian government tried to stop it, but they failed. The Middle Belt is, stand, is starting to wake up. The Middle Belt Forum has shown support for Bedouin Governor Samuel Autumn over his stance against setting up Fulani Ruga settlements in Bedouin states because he said it breeds terrorism and that will result to TV people losing their ancestral land to the Fulani Janjaweed. According to one of their leaders, Dr. Milafia, he said that Fulanis are using the NIN registration to fight population jihad in Nigeria. They are using the NIN as a cover to import millions of foreign Fulanis 
and issuing them with passport, national identity cards, and voters' card to ensure that the Fulanese are the majority by subterfuge. They don't care what anybody thinks because they think they are in power right now and this might be the last chance they will have to effect that change. Thank you for watching my videos. Please watch out for the next and bye-bye.